Hey, I'm Brock Debenham. I'm the program director for the Radiation Oncology Program at the University of Alberta. My name is Adele Diemering. I'm a radiation oncologist here at the Cross Cancer. So we are fortunate to have a number of specialized facilities in Edmonton. We have a relatively new uh, gamma knife unit uh, located at the University of Alberta Hospital. So one thing I didn't realize when I was a resident was how good we have it here. We've got a wonderful residence space with a room with a couch and a coffee maker and fridge and microwave. And um, I had my own office between my third year and fifth year of residency. So it wasn't until I became staff here and I, I migrated upstairs um, and was given a cubicle uh, with a desk in a shared office that I realized really how good we have it as residents. So we're fortunate to have a strong medical physics and radiobiology uh, department. We are fortunate to be able to send our residents to uh, many conferences as well as uh, review courses, radiobiology course, and uh, anatomy course in uh, London, Ontario. And these are all fully funded uh, on behalf of the program. One of the best things about the Cross Cancer is that it is a standalone cancer center. So um, when you come to work, you feel like you're part of a big team um, with everybody from the volunteers who push around the tea and cookie cart to uh, the occupational therapist, to all of the other staff who work here. Um, and, you know, we're all working towards a common goal in the center and it's a very friendly environment. Um, you come to work and uh, from the moment you walk through the doors, you see people that, that you recognize. And um, I think getting to learn and subsequently work in this kind of environment is, is um, really rewarding. One of the advantages of uh, being a resident in our program is that you do have the opportunity to uh, do a bit more than if you were in a, a larger program. If you want to do more procedures, there's the opportunity to do more procedures here. And if you, um, you know, want to see something specific, there's a lot of opportunities to do that here. All of our graduates have uh, gone on to, to gain employment and uh, we're very focused on helping our graduates kind of meet their goals. So um, one kind of unique opportunity here in Edmonton when I was going through the residency program was that I got to do quite a bit of um, moonlighting or extender call, primarily here at the Cross Cancer Institute on the inpatient units. And that was really neat, not just um, from a financial perspective because it is quite lucrative, but um, just from getting my feet wet on the oncology wards and I think, you know, transitioning to becoming a staff, um, that really gave me more confidence with dealing in um, a, a non-supervised setting with oncologic issues. Some people might worry about coming to Edmonton and it's, it's cold all the time. And as someone that's grown up here, you know, it does get cold in the winter, but I think I've I've been uh, in, in colder places at times in Canada, like in Ottawa. Um, so definitely there's always something to do in Edmonton, whether it be in the summertime or the wintertime. It's really an underrated city. I, I was really excited that I matched here. It was my first choice for residency program and people from BC don't necessarily appreciate that. Um, but you know, it's, it's just so beautiful. Um, the river Valley you can go for, for bike rides. I've been out a lot on my bike this summer. Um, in non COVID times, we have lots of festivals. It's a very lively, multicultural city and uh, there's lots of great opportunities here.